Hey, what's up guys? Thanks for checking out the pixellab.net. Today we're going to talk about how to bring your shadows from Cinema 4D back into After Effects. So last time we talked about how to set up your scene so that we got our nice shadows here and we could render out of here, but we want to figure out how to composite all of these things separately in After Effects. So let's go ahead and figure out how to do that. First thing we're going to go ahead and do is turn off the background. And uh, on this plane, we're still going to want this to catch that shadow because otherwise Cinema is not going to know where the shadow needs to go. But we don't want all this texture on here. We just want the shadow. So let's go ahead and take the, uh, the texture and delete that. So now this is what we have. All right, so what we're going to want is the shadow. And we're also going to want this guy separate. So the best thing to do is put an object buffer um, on the main object in your scene so that you can cut him out. So let's go ahead and go to our figure, right click, go to Cinema 40 Tags and Compositing. And then on the Object Buffer tab, let's go ahead and enable Buffer 1. All right, so let's head into our render settings and uh, let's check on Multipass. And here's our Multipass dropdown and all the things that we can choose from. What we're going to want is that Object Buffer. And make sure that the group ID number is 1 because we set it up to have 1 over here. Um, so that's going to basically give us a black and white image with this guy so that we can cut him out and composite him separately. So then the other thing we're going to want is the shadow. And uh, what we're going to do is go to multi-pass and shadow. And if you don't have a plane set up and you don't have this all prepped in Cinema 4D like we did, this shadow is not going to do anything. I had a few people try that and nothing happened and they were kind of confused. So you still need to set up this plane and there still needs to be a way to catch the shadow. But then we'll go ahead and show you what that shadow multi-pass does. So that's basically it. Um, we have our main image and then we have our multi-pass image. All right, so we got these two set up. Let's go ahead and skip the uh, compositing project. We could do that, but I'm gonna show you how to kind of do everything manually. And then let's render it out in just one frame, so it's super easy. And now we can head on into After Effects. So let's go ahead and import our files here. And uh, it was on the desktop, shadow test. All right, so let's check out what we have. Here's our shadow pass. And because we set it up, uh, we have this shadow projecting onto the ground and uh, everything else is white, which is perfect. Then we also have our object buffer, so we can cut our guy out. And then we have our main render. All right, so let's go ahead and open up these three guys. All right, let's put in our main guy here. So the first thing we wanna do is uh, put in our object buffer on top of our main guy. And then let's take our main render and change that to Lua Matte. And then we'll have our guy kind of sitting on the background, right? There's our dude, perfect. All right, let's bring in our shadow now and put it underneath our main guy. And uh, here's our shadow. So all we have to do is change the mode from normal to multiply, and then it's gonna put it right on top of the ground. And that is it. Super, super easy. All you gotta do is put an object buffer on your main dude and then render out the multi-pass with the shadow, have that plane in there, then a couple quick little compositing things and bam, you are good to go. And the great thing about this is, now what we can do is go to our uh, background and you know we can do anything to our background color correction wise and uh, it's not kind of baked in there with everything else. And then the other thing is we just have tons of flexibility. So what we can do is we can actually add a blur to our shadow if we want. We can blur it out a little bit more. Or what we can do is do a color correction. Uh, you could do a levels and crush the black so that it gets darker. Or if you don't like that, you can just take the opacity down and make it quite a bit lighter. So this is a fantastic way to just set up your scene, bring in your shadows, bring in your dude, be able to have complete control of every single element in your scene. Super, super easy workflow, and uh, I hope that works for you. Um, like I said, there are some other ways to do this. There's a plugin called the Shadow Catcher, which I did a tutorial on a while ago, but a couple of people had some problems with it, a couple of glitches. So I hope this workflow is a little bit easier for you, and uh, I hope that answers some questions. All right, thanks guys for checking out thepixellab.net. I really appreciate it, and we will talk again next time. Bye, everybody.